All right, folks, welcome to episode 38 of the Wee Podcast. Phil here with Clarky. Hello. Today we're going to talk about mindsets, different types of mindsets, and some sort of examples as well. So have a listen and see which one you are. Enjoy the show. Woo! Do you give us the definition of this week's episode, please, Clarky? Okay, um, so this week, mindset, um, so I've got two and they're very similar, so a habitual or characteristic mental attitude that determines how you will interpret and respond to situations, and then another one very similar was an established set of attitudes held by someone much shorter, um, and then just to back those up, famous quote from a famous guy, Mahatma Gandhi, um, your beliefs your become hat. your, <laughs> your hat, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. That's what he defines mindset as. Oh, the mindset? I thought it was destiny this week, is it not? No. Why have you got stuff about hunters and stuff? Yeah, what well, you said about destiny. We'll talk about right? both. Okay. We'll talk about both. That's, that's, that's very cool, but Gandhi was always that sort of like very noble and knowledgeable guy, like, and he's very, mm-hmm. very, a lot of wisdom in his head, like, but. New stuff. Um, so we've got the, the definition as well of like um, fixed mindsets and growth mindsets I know you've got one on the on them both actually wasn't it you said you fixed them on a third on a beneficial one wasn't it so benefit yeah benefit, I've yeah. got the three do you want me to pop into those now yeah because that's what we'll be talking about we'll, really we'll be yeah. talking about the sort of the reason why we're what they are etc yeah. so first one you mentioned was fixed yeah. um, so essentially a fixed a person with a fixed mindset um, are what are defined as everyday experts so basically they seek perfect, perfection in what they can and basically can do now and they avoid failure so they focus on only reproducing what they know they don't try and learn anything else they believe their strengths are innate gifts they can't be developed and focus on perfecting what they have which is a okay. lot of the politicians I think <laughs> yep so the old growth mindset um, you'll probably see where these are going as, as I go through but they're everyday learners so Fixed mindset, everyday experts, growth mindset are everyday learners. who they, they all seek growth and development. They focus on improving how they do what they do. And they also believe that their strengths can be developed with effort, reaching higher levels of achievement and ability, which is obviously slightly different. And finally, we have what's called a benefit mindset. These guys are everyday leaders who seek to be well and do good. So in other words, they focus purposefully on why they do what they do. And they believe in developing their strengths and meaningfully, uh, sorry, and meaningfully contributing to the future. And um, basically, there's going to be greater possibility for everyone yeah. as a whole, as opposed to just for themselves. Yeah, the first two are sort of self-explanatory. They really, are. I mean, that's their. Uh, we did a little uh, quiz as well because we love our quizzes. We yeah. Did, we did a quiz prior to recording this, and we both got growth. Yeah, well, we both did the exact same mm-hmm. answers because we didn't really. We weren't. We're not. It was I a weird were, quiz. It was, but it was the same. It would have been terrible to do on this. Yeah, it would have been so boring like, because the questions, <laughs> the questions were the exact same. It was just they changed intelligence to talent yeah. instead of you know. So, but we got all the questions. There was eight questions for each thing. And no fixed. We got zero fixed. Um, all growth. On all, on all growth mindsets, yeah. yeah, which I think is quite weird considering. Yeah. I mean, the amount of possibilities we could have done because I think we agreed on literally every single one of them as well because yeah on the way through because some of them were like really stupid questions like you know for example what you know now is all you're ever going to know and it can never be improved on or some variation of what I've just said yeah and you know in our opinion instantly you're like obviously not but then it didn't really tell you much about you know it says basic intelligence and basic talent what does that yeah, mean exactly like that could be something different to my opinion than hers yeah, or exactly. your opinion than but hers. then surely whenever you're growing up I mean you grew up you're obviously that's your basic intelligence growing mm-hmm. so it, surely that's sort of contradictory already possibly but I suppose again this is where it comes into sort of what is a mindset so like how do they come around and so on and so forth and um, I managed to pull some wee majigs we, we could probably talk around them to be honest yeah um so basically you know you're saying you grow up and you learn so basically mindsets are habits of the mind so um well first of all the first ever use of the word mindset was in the 1930s 
So basically, habits of the mind formed by previous experience is what it was used to explain. So in other words, there are deeply held beliefs, attitudes, and assumptions that we create about who we are and how the world works. So you're saying, as we grow up, that changes. But I wonder whether she meant, is your basic intelligence, for example, growing up in this country that we're in right now, you know, some people are brought up in one part of Belfast, one are brought up in another, but they're brought up almost in two different worlds. Yeah. You know, so like, as they're grown up, their mindsets are, I hate them because of this, and I hate them because of this. Yeah. Well, I suppose maybe not as much now, but it's certainly not as widespread as but it was. But then again, that, obviously that would, be your, that would be your basic intelligence then, if that was the case, but then that's mm-hmm. basically saying that you could never go and find a computer and be like, oh, that's what that means then, because I yeah. can guarantee you, the majority of people over here that don't know half of the words and why that why they mean what they mean and why we hate each other because why we hate it, which we don't, well, we don't do. No, I don't just, care. You know, no. that's just. But you, sure to God, there's some way of them going and broadening horizons and, and learning new things about said cultures. You know, it's not like it's you can't change it. But that's where it comes down to we're in the growth mindset, whereas they're probably fixed. They're like, nope, what I know is what I know, and you're not changing that. But why me. is that though? We don't think we'll ever understand that because we can't understand that. Like we can't be like, no, uh, well, I tell you what, that is a lie. I do. I, I will never eat fish. Well, neither will I. But that's because I don't like it. It's co- yeah, because I don't like it. But I didn't like it like twenty years ago. I haven't tried it. I, I you hate tried the smell fish? of it. No, I don't remember trying. But I could not tell you the last time I ate fish. But oh. I hate the smell of it. Oh yeah, yeah. It turns me. Yeah. So. If someone was like, "Here, try this fish. It tastes like chicken," I'd be like, "No." Even though I love, <laughs> even though I love chicken, yeah, like I would still be like, "I'm not eating that." I think you should probably try it. Even I, no. Oh, see, here we are. Now I'm in that mindset. I'm like, no. no because I, like I don't like it because I know I don't like it. Like I've tried it before and I don't like it. At all. I'm not I mean, being funny. I haven't tried all different types of fish, but I just don't like. I don't like the smell of fish now. Any like at all? Yeah, it's never strange. have. And I don't, anyone yeah. who actually does it smell fish more than fishermen, but. I mean, even tasting it back then, I don't like. Didn't like it then either. I don't like it. Um, but that that's that will forever be a fixed mindset on how I feel about fish. Yeah. But I can't imagine someone being like, "Yeah, I'm not going to change my mind about cultures." But then again, now you can because I mean, it's going around at the moment, isn't it? Well, cultures never change. You, you can't change your mind about certain cultures. Yeah, isn't it? exactly. And it is that's that's a really, probably the the one that's really big at the moment with the whole. Boris Johnson thing recently about oh what he said you know, yeah Islamophobia and all that stuff but like and that's not to make that blase it just that's just know, what it it's is it's a whole other yeah. issue that we don't have time to talk about um, on this one but Thankfully. basically <laughs> yeah <laughs> basically um, he is now catering almost in a similar way as Donald Trump did yeah. to people that are scared of other people coming into this country or whatever country across an invisible line that we have randomly drawn mm. and all of a sudden this is ours and no one else is allowed in but anyway um that's it's their, that, that is their just, mindset you know it's, it's weird how that can just be like literally fixed in the one thing and they'd be like yeah i'm not gonna change my mind because yeah of but it's it's crazy because what do you think right like all these people need just help sometimes <laughs> not those people in mindset no they, the people, they, well, they they may too but like <laughs> The people coming into the country, a lot of them, and it's not, maybe not fair to say all of them, because not all of them do. Some of them are terrible people, but they may come in anyway. So yeah, no, exactly, yeah. But you know, I mean, you can you can still sort of like have empathy as well, and, and exactly. But there just doesn't seem to be any sort of like there's no no there's nothing exactly. there for them to learn and from. I think that's why I don't think I'll ever understand that mindset of how dare they come into our country and. How dare they have their own religion? How dare they, you know, have their own beliefs? They have to speak, um, about you know whatever religion this country is at all times or else. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why does it matter? What is it hurting you if there's a mosque down the road? Yeah. What is it hurting you? Yeah. Well, unless you walk into it, like, well, all their sinners is invisible or made of glass. <laughs> but like, you know, what, like it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just weird how you can have so many different mindsets about so many like huge things as well exactly small things are fine because that's not something you're going to bicker about you know but yeah like fish will not make me no. be like right get all them out of the ocean now they're disgusting <laughs> could you imagine them <laughs> okay you know like okay we're going to fish all of them like, but uh, there was no fish in the ocean <laughs> at all whatsoever but um like if you it's sort of funny because even if you think back through things we've discussed in previous episodes 
it really does link in with that growth yeah. mindset of, yeah, oh, I suppose you could do that, or I suppose if you know if you, you know remember um ages and ages ago couldn't even tell you what episode now where we were like one yeah you know uh, you know we could learn the guitar which I haven't done by the way but um you know it'd be cool to do that I'm not going like oh I'm never gonna be able to do that yeah you know I I just can't play instruments you know it was very much of you could do it if you learned and I was like yeah I suppose I could. Yeah well, th- yeah, well, it would take a long enough time. Like, I mean, oh, yeah, for sure. The older you get, the longer it's going to take, I think. But so now I could do it in a week and a half. A week and a half. You could learn <laughs> all the songs in a week and a half. All of them? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's understandable. I mean, what are they, like 10 songs? 10 songs? <laughs> Just play Wonderwall. And once you play Wonderwall, that's the only thing you've got to learn. That's it. But, I mean, whenever I did say about the whole politician side of thing, they're like, it's really weird to think that the majority of them are quite fixed minds like that's all oh, very much it's just so. they, once like their policy is their policy and that's that yeah they have no so. they have no room for anybody else's yeah yeah well again i suppose that's how even over here i suppose how they would get a lot of votes like the two main parties at the moment obviously aren't agree and haven't agreed for um one week short of the world record which we can't get by the way officially guinness world records won't um let us have it because technically we are being governed from somewhere which i'm um, glad about because yeah which is good because i don't want to have that but no you know, there's obviously a lot of issues there that they just aren't seeing eye to eye on. And every time they meet, I can only assume that Arlene and Michelle O'Neill are sitting across a table just going, no. Mm. No. Yeah, pretty you know, much. John Lewis, no. Yeah. And much money are you getting paid? Yeah. It's like, how Did long are you going to do this for? Yeah. How long are you going to do it for? I don't know. I'm in Spain for the next four weeks. So, you know, it literally, it's one of those things that I can only assume both of those parties have a fixed mindset and they will not change and because of that this deadlock will go on until we're dead and our country won't change ever yeah (laughs) but that's what i'm saying i think more people nowadays and this is complete conjecture i have no idea complete guess that um and it's not based on any fact but i'm assuming that nowadays that there are more people our age and younger that have the growth mentality that are open to new ideas you know, you see how much pride, for example, the other week has grown. Um, you know, more people. Even are, in the past three, four years, yeah. it's four years ago. It still wasn't as as huge as it was a couple of weeks ago. Like it was exactly. People still frowned upon it for some reason. Yeah, it's weird. I just don't understand how something that doesn't bring a lot of money into places like so. I don't just, just, just don't make a mind. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. I don't Literally, who cares? You know, what difference is it going to make? It's it's strange, like, but like everyone has said that you know the next couple of generations are going to be the ones that are going to lead. So cool. all these new things which I hope so is, yeah. so do yeah, I but it's just, it's just I don't know I don't understand why things have changed so much though like I don't understand what but I just think we're more accepting in general yeah, but why oh, why yeah why because like, what's, what's happening what's changed that we're, we're like because we're, we're raised by the people with those mindsets that were already you know so, well, not mm, sort of but not really like I think it was more their parents because if you think about it well certainly like for example whenever all this was kicking off in the well, 80s etc like my dad would have been in his teens mm. so like now he's sort of like well we don't need that again do we let's not be at that yeah but that's now that's what I'm saying so he didn't bring me up or you know and I know obviously some people were brought up in that way but like I, was, I wasn't I was brought up to be this is the way it has to be yeah. it was very and also it goes back to a few episodes ago social media like you can look at things now and just be like just the internet in general and you can look at things now and be like you know what that's fine but then that's that's saying that social media is basically raising our kids, which is true well, though. It I wouldn't it say true. raising it, but it's certainly helping form opinions. So yeah. like, um, you know, I think the idea of gay marriage and I don't know, you know, the LGBT plus community, you know, um, or you know whatever that thing is. And yeah. I'm pretty sure it is plus, but I, I don't know. If, know. I don't know if they added more letters or not, but. Um, basically, <laughs> that's what you know what it is. It's like LGBT plus, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. But basically, the um, like that is far more common now. Like I know, whenever I was like, I think the first time I ever heard the word lesbian, I was in like P four, and everyone was shocked, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" Why well, he told you? That? The teacher? No, no, no. Somebody called somebody at the playground, and they were like affronted. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what that means. So um, then, That's obviously, crazy. yeah, wow. yeah, and like 
as I say, I was just like, what the hell is that? Stupid but then I was also pretending to be like, oh my word. Yeah. But like, I don't, I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. So, um, I hear people in the school did that. But like, I, I, I had no idea. Yeah. But I was just like, well, everyone else knows. That's yeah. <laughs> Too embarrassed. To yeah, I can't let everyone know. I don't know. But, um, but you know, that's what I'm saying. Like now, I, you know, at that age, you know, what age you in? Like eight or nine years old. Yeah. Like, and also there's a lot more like TV shows where that. Yeah. It's weird as well because the people that made those TV shows were, well, still are obviously, but they're, still, they're like 40, 50 years old and they don't have, you know. Probably. That no issues with that. Yeah. But again, it's just one of those things that it comes down to the fact that I, again, it's just my opinion, could be completely wrong if there were stats on it. But I think more people have the growth now than the fix because I would agree. we probably realise there's no point in fighting anymore. It's just stupid. It's weird because you would say as well that the fix, I think, in, in nowadays would be a negative mindset yeah I personally think that, yeah. when it comes to the bigger things it would be a negative mindset for me anyway personally whereas a growth one would be a, a positive one and obviously yeah. people with fixed mindsets would say that's you know it's wrong yeah but i mean you can have different mindsets in in the sense of obviously your own life or in having your own opinions and stuff because there are different things of having your own opinions and having your own mindset because it's they're two different things you can have your opinion on anything but your your own mindset is what you want to yeah base your life off basically like which is it's it's a bit rough. It's important to who you are. Yeah, well. it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit rough these days because you, you don't know who's going to sort of turn around and be like, what are you on? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can't say anything. Like, like, it, I, I sort of hate like living in these times at the minute. I don't, I have to admit, I don't mind it as much as I did a few years ago because see now, because we do this, like see anytime I see somebody start a business, even though I have no intention of using them yeah. and they're like my age, I like their page. Well, all because you've started a podcast? Yeah. Because it's it's nice whenever that light goes up by like one. Yeah. So like, for example, I seen somebody the other day starting a but then that's being dog like, groom business, and I was like, I don't, know, I'm not gonna get any dogs groomed. Yeah. My mum has someone, but I was like, yeah, I like it. Why not? Yeah. What, harm, what harm does it do? Yeah, but then that's like, so was your mindset different before that then, or was it just because you got your own thing now? You'd rather help other people. I understand it now. Yeah. Whereas yeah. before, I was like, well, I'm not gonna use that, so I don't need to clog up my Facebook with it. Yeah. Whereas now, I'm like. I think it's pretty cool. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah, I, I think I'd be the same way because I remember years ago whenever it was whenever the first pages started coming out and it was like, like this page, like this page. I just liked mm-hmm. all the pages. Yeah. And then eventually whenever I got to the age of it, I was like, you're getting rid of them again. Why am I doing this? Why mm-hmm. have I got all these pages? And then it says, like, it gives me notifications as well saying it's changed their name. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, th- th- I like that. From what? Yeah. You know, and they're really like, some of them are really political now as well. Mm-hmm. I had like one change in the Nazi party or something. Oh, I was God. Like, yeah, I know. It was crazy. You wouldn't believe it. But it was like, it was, like, it was something stupid. Like, me did not see that coming. Sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. That is terrible. <laughs> but no, well, obviously not a Nazi party thing, but it, yeah. it changed into like this whole religion. And I was like, what's going on here? It was a meme page before. Yeah. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. I just didn't understand what was going on. But yeah, I mean, fair play to those people on. On That's what I'm saying. I just, I just like stuff. I like the other day. I liked the personal trainer. I know the guy and a dog grooming thing and oh flip, what was the other one? Photography page. You see, not lot those. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, but again, I was just like, well, why not? Like, what harm is this gonna do? No. So I've I've uh, liked a couple, but I've also been like, why? Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have like my own dog. I have dogs in the house that are part of the family but my mum oh, yeah. will get them cut somewhere else as I say and um, you know if I want to exercise I'm going to do it myself yeah, but at the same that, time me that, liking that might see like somebody else might be like oh so they like that and yeah, then they it's could, a bit of could, advertising and yeah. they could be like oh well I actually could use a personal trainer or I could use a dog groomer or whatever or pet groomer I don't know if it's specifically dog but yeah. you know I understand that completely but it's whenever the people that or fair enough, they have these mad, like photography ones, right? So they have these mad cameras and all like they know the exposure and yeah, 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 all yeah. that sort of stuff. But whenever people take a photo on their camera and then put a filter over it, and they're like, "I did that." Yeah, it's rubbish. Because there was yeah. one I seen the other day on Facebook, and I was like, "That's literally just like an Instagram filter." Exactly. Like you almost you do need to like. You do make photography your... is, the art, obviously the art of no one all the mechanics of taking a good picture and then beyond that whenever you get the editing room yeah. spending time editing and not just going oh let's just use swipe right uh, grey scale yeah. you know that's you know and exactly. some people do that and that's fine but like obviously 
the standard gray scale might not work for some photos in a lighter environment and a darker and then that's where you need to go in and i'm not an expert in any way shape or form but that's where you would go in and go oh let's just edit this slightly. and it yeah. takes time to get the perfect photo yeah 100 so, which, is, which is what i would like but i i did like one the other day and i was like i really shouldn't have liked that just because it's, yeah. it's literally someone putting a filter over something but then but, it's just it's yeah. just the hell i mean it comes it, back to what harm does it do so the way it is if it's crap uh you can just hide it which is yeah, I you just hide it. Yeah, yeah, don't like that anymore. But then that's that's the whole that's the whole growth mindset as well. That, you know, mm. helping other people grow as well. Exactly. It's it's weird how we've got that mindset nowadays compared to, because if I if I was to say to my dad like just to go and like things he'd be like, why do I do that? Because yeah. <laughs> I said it before, like read the sun on his tablet. Uh-huh. Well, it's the same thing. It's free as well. Is it? Well, it's, uh, some pages are free. Okay. You, you can mm. read, you can go, you obviously go down and spend yeah, yeah. like 50 or whatever. Well, 30p, 80p, I don't know what the sign is. It's no idea cheap much anyway. Of, well, it's, it's it's a cheap paper. Yeah. Uh, I mean it literally as well. It's, yeah. There's, there's stories like, that are absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's crap. But he still reads it because he's like, oh, did you see that there the other day? It's brilliant. <laughs> but it's, it's weird. Nah, get away from page three. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even there anymore, sure. What? Yeah, it's not, it's not there anymore. Seriously? Yeah, sure. It was like it happened like like four or five years ago. It was taken away. It was like, well, the page three is still there. It's not like one, two, four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish that happened though. Because no, I, I wish they literally took out the page. Just like one, two. Ah, okay then. Here but, we uh, go. <laughs> take it back they, to the shop. I don't took, think this is... <laughs> I think it's just, there's no nudity anymore in it. In it. Okay, yeah, okay. So... I mean that's oh there goes that joke <laughs> but is that what would you say that would be and would that be like because that's come down to the whole I would say that's probably them bending just the social pressure I get it like but um, what oh, yeah. yeah like that probably is they're probably like okay we do need to change and then, again you know fair play cause... This, this mindset episode opens an awful lot of doors that I didn't really think of before yeah it's end. weird like and the thing is that's one point so far of eight yeah. So strap yourself in, folks. This is going to be four hours long. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I've got seven points of different mindsets as well here. Like, but yeah. I mean, that's that's just one. Like you said, that's one point. Yeah, and like it, it, it just what you said there actually about why do they do it? And um, it also leads into point two, which is that they're created by experiences. We've sort of touched on it already, which is good. So basically, that it says that mindsets are created from distinctions we are able to make or uh, about our experiences. We have experiences and then from them we make new distinctions and from these distinctions we create new mindsets so possibly just to use the sun as an example page three obviously they used to have those ladies and then basically at some point they may have changed the editor they may have changed something else uh or equally they've had that many complaints mm. over the years or whatever i don't know but you know basically it could come through that they're changing it based on well actually the guardian sells pretty well Without no it. boobs. Yeah. You know, should we try and up our image a bit? You know, and that again, complete guess. I don't know. But, you know. Do you read the sun? I used to in work because it used to be in the staff room all the time. But, but you my wouldn't personal, go out and buy it, though. No, no. My personal favorite paper is either The Guardian or The Times because yeah. there's a lot more Wrong. in it. Yeah. And it's good. It's good journalism. Like, it's really, really well yeah, written. The awesome. sports stuff in it's The Guardian awesome. and stupid no, stuff. Yeah, no, no, exactly. like, it's actual stuff I want to read. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So um, that's why it's sort of surprised me because I don't understand how the sun's still selling. Maybe you can literally just go on the internet and be like, "Oh, look what's happening here," because that's what the sun is. What are you talking about? Like, I don't know why it's selling. So, is well. in their stories or? Yeah, their stories because you can still go okay. online because the journalism. Oh, we were still talking about page three. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's why I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. You can go online. You can look at these celebrities. You're really dirty in mind. I just didn't know when we made the change. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. But I meant you can go on and look at some every story. You just go on the internet and just. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Clocky does on the Saturday mornings. Oh, I don't know, like, but um, no, that's you could you could literally go on. You could see what's happening in the Kardashians' world. That's true. Without having to go on the page one of the Sun and be like, oh, there's on a page. Well, yeah, yeah. And then in the bottom right, landslide in India yeah. kills three hundred. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Didn't know that. Oh, Pays well. that on. And then, oh no, that's the story. Yeah. <laughs> that's, you know. Sometimes it is though as well. And then exactly. it says, turn to page 412. Oh, we don't have one, sorry. Exactly. Um, oh my word. Like, this is like last week. I don't know how you're doing this. It's like you know what's here. Oh dear. Point three, mindsets create blind spots. So mindsets provide us with fragmented ways of looking at the world, never with complete facts of what it is. We always see the world through a filter of our mindsets and our mindsets are always incomplete. 
So what you're sort of saying there is obviously if you only read, for example, the the sun and got your information from the sun, you're only gonna really be like, oh, stupid. Well, I know that a mudslide happened, but I also know that Kim Kardashian blah 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 blah, and you'll know all this stuff, but you won't really know all that much about maybe things that you're like, okay, to be a bit more humanitarian, I should really care. You know. Yeah, but then again, that's that's all come in with that whole morality thing, doesn't it? Like, yes. So, maybe you don't really care. That's the, <clears throat> maybe you do care more about what's happening in the Kardashians' world than what's happening. Maybe in the world. you do. Maybe that's just what you prefer to be interested in because it's reality well, what versus. What sort of mindsets that to have? It? You know, or, or or one the other day of reality and you know fantasy. Oh yeah. You, so yeah. you can pretend that the Kardashians is real. They obviously are real people, but their show cannot be all real but people love it because it takes them away yeah did you ever hear about the the, the hills tv show yeah i never heard about this there's one, there one of the girls from family i was in family guy lauren conrad that's all i know because she was in family guy i know no one else i know nothing else oh. about it i just know she went out with brian oh the dog yeah oh okay um well i i haven't talked to lauren and on she was saying it's, it's being brought back seen that on facebook yeah but it was taken away because it was, it was supposed scripted. to be reality TV, but it was script. It was something about it be scripted or something. Random question. I don't know if you'll know the answer. Whether it was I discussed earlier, is that the one where in the last episode all the cameras and stuff were shown and the background was taken away? I have no idea. Do you know? No. I wonder Google. So yeah. Google that. That could have been it. But yeah, apparently that there's coming back now, which I don't understand why. If it's already been, are they going to bring it back as an actual reality TV show? I don't know. I hope not. I don't know. Just, just, don't watch just, put it, just put it. No, that's what I said that on as well. No. And she was like, "Well, I'm sure. I'm sure you've heard it." I was like, "I've never heard of that show in all my life." Yeah. And if I've talked about it at all, then it must have been. In fact, is Big Golf reality? No, I love Big Golf. Well, say it it's is like, really, yeah, it's sort of like a competition. It's a competition too. Well, it's but like, then, but then, so is Hell's Kitchen. Oh, true, but it's really good. But it is reality TV. Is it? Yeah, because but it's got, not. But it's like a Big Brother house, and then they go. It's to like trip. a game show, though. More, isn't it? No, I don't you know. You send their lives a game. Yeah. No, no. Well, it's being made into reality. It's not reality TV, though. But it's, it's a competition, whereas, the Kardashians isn't. You know what I'm saying? It yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, it's like a mixture between competition and reality TV. Yeah. But so it's the same thing as Big Brother. Oh no, not my thing. But it is. It is I know what you TV mean. And like Love Island. And it's a competition. Did I say that weird? Love Island? Did I say that weird? Love Island. Is that how I said it? Yeah, you said Love Island. Love Island. Is that normal? Yes. Well, it sounds weird in my head. What, Love Island? Yeah, Love Island. <laughs> I say it different to you, I emphasise a different part. Love Island? I'm a freak. What do you say? I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. I don't know how many times you plugged in Love Island. <laughs> my God. Um, We're making appearances next year in the villa. No, well, next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We'll just bring the cameras and stuff. In. Um, I've got like you've obviously got more points there as well. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's been a. These are for more yourself. Uh-huh. So there's like a self trust mindset. To do anything great, you have to be able to trust yourself and believe in your capabilities. Success is not something that just happens, but something you create. You have to have the confidence to banish any negative voices in your head. Don't give up on the things that you believe in, and the most important thing, don't give up on yourself. Mm-hmm. That. Is it, that links him with everything there so far. Yeah, it's yeah. very easier said than done, though. Yeah. Like, it was like that thing we, we were talking about, like, pressure and stuff, where they're on and stress and stuff. You know, it's it's easier said than done than just going, like, yeah, I'm just going to yeah forget all this I'm going to do all that, and then I'm going to leave it all at the door when I'm leaving work. But then it links in with the second one, the goal-setting mindset. Yeah. Because that would <clears> basically take away. The first one, that would be like, well, if you, if you set some goals, you're trusting yourself to do that. If you if you accomplish the goals, then obviously you'll, you'll build the trust within yourself as well. Yeah. But, I mean... Like I said before, they're all easier said than done, sort of things. Like it's because this is just a thing on Inc. dot com. It says you know it's gonna radically Im- improve your your life right now and your mindset. Yeah. It's it's like I said, it's easier said than done. But you can you can read through them all and be like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. And then but maybe you just are making yourself believe you can, if you know what I mean. That's the whole point of it. Isn't like it? yeah, but like I mean, in terms of you're saying right, I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna be able to do that. And you then put your you phone down on. and you're like, what was I what just? Was that? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, like, um, basically, that's weird. Like, these are two points really link here. Yeah. So you're saying, like, it's sort of easier said than done. This says that any shift will be met with powerful forces. So they're self-deceptive. You think 
you can change and, yeah. and you think you can do this that and the other but are you really that committed that you're going to really start pushing against what's pushing back yeah sometimes the force is a bit stronger than your own mental health I suppose in that sense then exactly and like it does come down to a lot of you know you're saying like so what what were those points again so there was so there was the goal self, setting there was the goal setting one and the yeah. self trust mindset self-trust, so basically yeah. trust yourself to, to set the goals and yeah. then to eventually achieve them so I suppose that's maybe a way around the whole self deception thing where you're saying right I'm gonna uh, this is it mindset's changing um, I'm not gonna be completely fixed anymore what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna like I, did you watch the Netflix documentary about the lady who went into the middle of the white supremacist yeah yeah what yeah. did you call that do you remember no something my enemy or something my friend yeah so I think it was something like that. but she was like a, she thinks she was a Muslim woman wasn't she yeah but essentially like she went in for anyone who hasn't seen it she goes into this group of white supremacists and she speaks with leaders and um, members just from members in general yeah and they do have pretty to us insane mindsets like they just a lot more than I thought there were mm-hmm. the, I mean I, I would not even have, I couldn't have t- but told you how many strong like yeah, really really strong insane. beliefs and all different states as well mm-hmm. which you wouldn't even think there'd be that many of but if you think the guy in that who was like oh I think I know which guy you're on about you know the guy who like leaves yeah and he's like, like end, after he yeah, after what happened to you like I just after what sorry what you said and about how you know, we wanted to basically kick you out of the country, even though I wouldn't want to do that. Like, you're my friend. I wouldn't yeah. want to do that to you. Um, but there were even some other fellas in that that were saying... Yeah, that they felt awkward whenever yeah. she was, like, calling herself the derogatory terms. And even, But even that, though, she was saying about, you know, you guys were basically saying that my kind shouldn't be in this country. Mm-hmm. That's what she... That's what, that was what she yeah, said. Yeah. And they were like, oh, well, no, that's not... But then again, like, why would they... then she would literally physically, like, literally to their face go... Yes, she did. So you're telling me I'm going to be kicked out of this country? Yeah. And then, so you would kick me out? And some of them were like, oh, well, yeah. you know... They're sort of batting the question yeah. away. So, sort of being like, well, no, not me, but I mean, certainly the group. Yeah, so, you like, know, those guys there, I can imagine the guy who eventually did leave probably met a ridiculous amount of force from external and internal... You know, do I leave? Can I leave? People outside being like, you're leaving because of this? Are you serious? You know, like, there's a whole load of basically things. And for him to change by the looks of that documentary from a fixed mindset to potentially more towards a growth mindset, yeah, I can only imagine that took some absolute ridiculous self-control. Yeah. And real Especially because of where, where, he, where he came from and what he was mm-hmm. a part of. Like, it'd be different if it was just something smaller than yeah. being a part of a cult that hates certain people. Yeah. But I mean the amount of people he was around was, I think he was a leader as well. Yeah, he was he was um was he like head of security or something? He was a big he was teaching people how to fight and stuff, do you remember? Yeah. And outside and how to use weapons and Yeah, sure he got maced, maced as well. Yeah, they were macing him. Um just to so he could like basically go to the police and get maced and then yeah. be like ah yeah. <laughs> still be like crazy. Scary man. Uh, um yeah, yeah, to sort of just leave all that behind and not really yeah. care too much about it. Is... Can't imagine that would be easy, though. No, well, especially in America, though, as well. Because mm-hmm. America, like, they're very passionate about everything, Yeah. regardless of what it is. And they also, our mindsets, again, this is weird, they shape our everyday lives. Mm. So what you're saying there, <laughs> yeah. this is weird. So the way you think, though, is we make our mindsets and thereafter our mindsets make us. Thoughts, words, and actions radiate out from mindsets like ripples on the surface of a lake. And if there's something we would like to change in our lives, such as being more creative, or in this case, caring in this guy, or improve our well-being, we must also be open to shifting our mindsets. So, essentially, what we've just spoken about is essentially that. Like, the amount (laughs) that he had to basically change. And then, I suppose it was a good example to choose as well, because just straight into the next one, Mindsets create a shared world. Mindsets are a powerful leverage point for cultural and systemic change. If we want to more con- con- uh, more consciously create the world we live in, such as act in a way that contributes to global goals, the first ever, ever global consensus on what must be done to address equality, climate change, and mental health, we must then also be open to shifts in mindsets. Yeah. So again, that lady going in there and speaking to these people, 
she's actively contributed to broadening that potentially it's one guy but you know it could be everyone it could be she's one of yeah, that's the thing you know, he, he, he um, can still spread it on so yeah I like it comes back I think that one it does come back to a lot of what we've just spoken about um, because it's hard to get because we have the same mindset it's hard almost like it would be really handy if we had someone that was really like fixed yeah that we could be like why but I can't imagine I think I would struggle to be like, why do you believe that? Well, like, that's where that's where debates come from, don't they? So. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I would, I think I would sit here and be like, like you can't be serious. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty that we could probably bring in that we would be like that with. Probably, well, yeah, but you know, but it would. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't mean it trying to be a dick. I would just be like, no, I, oh, I just can't grasp what you. Well, like, we how you think that? We wouldn't bring anybody in to be nasty to them, like no, or, no, or to no, be no. in any way, sort of like enforce our own group. Yeah, no, definitely, them, like, definitely, like, But yeah. I mean, it, I think it would be very hard for them to understand. Be the other way around. Yeah, because yeah. that's we, what I mean. It's crazy. Like we, I know we spoke about this at the start, but like. Well, oh, I know. I know. You, know what it's, I mean? it's hard to express in the words, like, but it is like it's one of those things where. I mean, you, you could both have a mindset on certain things, but I mean, if it's th- through life and stuff like that there, I mean, if they were just to come down and say, yeah, I don't believe I can do anything more with m- what I've got, mm-hmm. then you'd be like, well, yeah. why? And then they, they, they probably couldn't tell you why. Well, they just don't. Like, you know, what what, yeah. what are they going to say? They're not going to, like, teach themselves to, like... But the thing is, question. they probably could. Like, because, oh, they could, but because, they don't think they could. Like, if, they, if we were to say to them, like, why can't you do this? They would give us an answer in the same way that if they were to go to us, but why do you believe, um, for you know the LGBT plus community should have equal rights? You're like because they're, they're human and everyone should have the same right. And yeah. what harm is it gonna do? Yeah, you know, literally. If but then they would be like, well, no. But if you were if you were speaking to you know one of these guys from the supremacist people, you know that we've just been speaking about. I'm yeah. not using it as an example, but if we were to like speak to someone like that, they'd be like, nope, wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you know, whereas we'd be like, no, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like debates come from, they just stem from those sort of things, and yeah, debates never seem to get anywhere. That's what they call debates. Like they don't, they <laughs> yeah. don't ever. There's no end. There's yeah. no end yeah. apart from the person. That's why you always need someone in the middle to be like, okay, I'll ask the questions, you guys answer them, and then I'll end it, <laughs> and then we're done, and then we're done, and yeah. that's it. You can't, you can't talk over me, and that's that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. Whereas if we were to bring in someone. Obviously, there'd be three of us then, but mm-hmm. I don't think either one of us could be like, I'll moderator. be there. I don't think I could be a moderator at all because I'd be like, he's talking so much cake <laughs> and I want to get in on it, but I can't. Yeah. But then again, I probably, I would, I would definitely try a hop it harder, like, but I don't think we could possibly bring someone in because it would be longer than an hour. That's for sure. And it would be a really tough to be on yep. literally anything, I think, because I think we could probably talk for hours on our own, never mind having someone else in talking about like mm-hmm. you even said like the you know another thing or whatever but yeah. like another thing um that may this next point may help us sort of understand is that mindsets can be developed in complexity so the more developed our mindsets become the more we unfold towards deeper levels of wisdom and effectiveness so our mindsets evolve from simple to complex from static to dynamic from egocentric to sociocentric to world centric if that's the way you want to go yeah. and our ability to take a perspective improves as does our capacity to embrace ambiguity and hold paradox. So <clears throat> what I'm sort of taking from that is that we have developed ours in one way, somebody else, maybe with a fixed one, or even with a developed, I guess what it was, let me just double check, benefit, sorry, benefited um, mindset. They, um, they will have done it in a different way, but equally they will have went goal. down through... Yeah you know the same path just with a different mindset yeah it's really weird to think about really yeah but it's so like what but you wonder how like certain people get into par with the fix for the fixed mindset as well you know because they just play on everyone else's fear it works like there's actually an example um here um of let's see if i can find it yeah so basically this is all about um why mindsets matter essentially but this is just one excerpt so because we live in turbulent times everyone's facing increasingly urgent and deeply um, interrelated challenges they've never faced before collectively we're facing an ever-growing number of social and ecological crisis 
that continue to intensify and worsen. The ultimate source of today's great challenges and the primary root causes that creates all of our crisis in the first place is also our mindset. So basically, if someone stands up in front of you and says, I know how to fix this, don't worry, this is what we're going to do, we're going to build a wall. All of a sudden, everyone that is like terrified of that thing is like, there it is. There's the answer right there. Let's vote for that guy. Yeah, it makes sense. It's just annoying. <laughs> it's just you really know. annoying how people can... But do you reckon, speaking of that person, would have had that mindset from the get-go? Do you reckon he would have maybe have had a growth one and sort of like, now he's just like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to stick to this one and that'll be me? I would imagine as a businessman, he has a mixture of all three. I can't imagine he is very specifically fixed or very specifically growth or very specifically benefit. I think he is all three. In other words, as a businessman, he was like, okay, so I'm going to do this because that's all I've never known. And then whenever that made him money, he was like, okay, so what else can I put this into to make yeah. more money? Yeah. And then whenever it came to the whole, well, how do I benefit society as a whole? Well, how about I just buy this entire block in New York, build it up and sell it off. And then people get to live there. Yeah. You know, it's also helping him, but also sort of helping the community. And then now, you know, he never needed the White House no, ever. No. If you think about it, he's far too rich to have ever needed that. Yeah. So I, maybe in his own sort of messed up way, he thinks that he's benefiting everyone by being president. I, I believe he does. Oh, I believe he, he believe thinks he does. that. Yeah. But the way he's doing it, obviously, is the way he's doing it. So, um,. It's crazy, like the way people have that. Because there was there was a fellow on um, an MMA uh, show the other day. Mm. I think it was yesterday actually. And he says that he's got a champion. He, he got beat for the first time. He's seven and zero, seven and one nine. Like, but he got knocked out for the very first time as well. Yeah. And he says that he has a championship mindset. Right now, it's like, oh, what's that sort of mean? Like, what would does that just mean? You're going to be champion one day? Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, that's that's basically what he was saying, but. He's got beat by this fella, and he's like, yeah, "I'm gonna have a rematch with him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock him out, and then I'm gonna become a champion later on in life." Like that's that's fair enough to have yeah. that sort of mindset, but at the same time, like you, you sort of have to before you have a championship mindset, you have to have the mindset of you have to do better before mm. you can even think of getting to that sort of goal. I know there's exactly. a goal setting mindset, yeah. and we were talking about that before, but I think it's a very very high goal to set for yourself after you just got knocked out, and you yeah. Know, You've no he's probably had that oh, always though. One oh, he has. Always, he's a very no. arrogant, not yeah. arrogant. He's a very confident self, person. Yeah, he's got self belief. He's got yeah, very much of it. Yeah. But I mean, there has to be a certain point where you're like, yeah, I've just got knocked out by this fellow in a minute and twenty nine seconds. Like so, I need to. Is the other guy good? He was yeah. He's he's, he's yeah. He's What's eleven. He's eleven and one. Sort of twelve and one. Pretty good. Eleven and one. Eleven and you one. Yeah, that's yeah. considerably better than the other guy. Seven so, and one. But then at the same time. I wonder how many people really go into that without the sort of I'm going to go in here and get my head kicked in for money. Is it not more like, okay, I want to go into this and hopefully win something? Well, I, I believe people that have that mindset of I'm going to go in here and win do win. But I think, because the reason why I think they believe in themselves <clears throat> that much, right? I mean, Conor McGregor, just out of, Perfect example. He, he went in and completely white boys out. But he had two losses before yeah, he, he even got it. in to yeah. Cage Warriors before that. Yeah. And even though obviously the two losses going into UFC because he, he wiped through everybody in Cage Warriors and he went into UFC and did the same thing until Nate Diaz found him. Has he not been knocked out or, not, or put out as, as well before Nate Diaz? Yeah, yeah, that was before he'd even joined Cage Warriors. He got done Are by... Are they count those towards UFC fights? Yeah, yeah, they're all Is the that same. Is he's got like, more losses than... Yeah, they're all the same. Like they're, they're Mixed martial arts is all... I thought it would have been like... Okay, here's how many you won in the amateurs, if you like. Here's yeah, that, how many that would, you won in the right. yeah. And then this is how many. Like, sort of like boxing, like, for example, if Anthony Joshua had been knocked out, I know he hasn't been, but if he'd been knocked out in the amateurs, mm -hmm. that wouldn't count towards his professional record. No. So doesn't. why, why, how many losses has Conor McGregor lost in the UFC? One. One? Uh-huh. That's it? He's only lost one fight in the UFC, yeah. Why is his record weird, then? It's because he's had he's had more fights outside of the UFC. He's had them in in cage wars. He's had them in. I don't understand that. Why does why does that come up as UFC record then? It's not it's not UFC records. It's MMA record. Oh, so that's in total. That's his total. Oh, yeah. Because I I remember looking at being like, I definitely don't remember him getting put out by anyone else. No. I whenever. Because I I watched the rematch. Um, with Diaz, well, certainly the highlights anyway, and I was actually like, do you not remember that? Do not remember him getting beat by anyone else. Yeah. Which is why I was like, 
No, no, his record, his MMA record is, you do have an amateur record. Yeah, yeah. Prior to that, because usually before you even start the pros, you have to have an amateur record, but there are guys out there that can just walk in mm. without any amateur fights. Like Probably CM, like... CM Punk. Yeah. He walked in with no yeah. no amateur fights whatsoever. He's now got a pro pro record of 0-2. and two. So, Probably, good for him. Um, but yeah, you can you can do your amateur fights and then that's obviously going to be your amateur fights. You could you can yeah. go through that completely undefeated as well. you be an Olympic athlete, like Ronda. She was... Oh yeah, she she won gold, but she also, she got beat as well in the judo championships as well. So I mean, yeah. she had tasted defeat prior to that, but I do think people that go into those fights, even with boxing as well, with the mindset of I'm gonna win, I'm gonna become a world champion. Everyone can have that mindset, but just someone else that night believes more than that other person. I think. Do you have the ability though? That's where we say in here. It's primarily, it's not primarily our physical selves that limit us, but rather our mindset about our physical limits. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. whenever you go in there, you might have the the body of a, of a young Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you're not gonna have the mindset of a of a young Conor McGregor. You yeah, know? It, you could have them both, and you'd be sweet. I'm sure you'd be, you'd be laughing. Yeah, you know? but I mean, I just think like the same thing with Steve Miocic, right? He was heavyweight. He he beat these guys. He beat Francis and Gani, right? Francis and Gani was this huge fella from Cameroon and he just like he was just knocking people like left, left right and centre yeah. near enough took Alistair Overeem up into the sky right but I, I just deep out he's just a like, big man yeah I, he's a big man I'm sure he's still yeah, yeah. he's still he's still pretty yeah. belt like but um, Stipe was like I'm going to beat him and he beat him he just he just took him down for five rounds and held him there and just punched him and stuff and that was it but I think whenever it came to um, Daniel Cormier I think it just he just sort of was like I'm going to beat him but there was, a, believe you? there was a bit of lack there. You, yeah. you didn't really understand like what, what Daniel Cormier was going to do. and uh, He thought Daniel was going to come out and just take him down, but he knocked him out. Like He, he, he just knocked him out like it was insane what he did. It was just Total. it was unbelievable. But they always say there's a mind game to, the, to that sort of sport as well. Yeah, no, it's every sport, I'd say, for sure. Yeah, but I, I think it'd be easier in a, in a one-on-one, obviously, compared to 11-on-11 11 11 or 5-on-5 five five or something, you know, yeah. because... Nobody else can pull you out of it. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas, you know, boxing, I think, is quite tough because it's 12 rounds. It used to be 15 rounds, which is quite... Could you imagine? Well, Tyson Fury, after his fight the other night there, he went in and hit the pads for another four four rounds. Tyson Fury did the FA the other night. He's crap. He's not crap. Did he's you see Tuesday the... fight. No, but he's, he's still got... He's still, he got hit, like, zero times. Like yeah, he was... but your man Wilder is going to smash him here. Absolutely smash him. Yeah, probably. But I still think Fury can put in the rounds. Though. I think he's well, he can put well. in the rounds. Yeah. To be fair to him, he's lost 10 stone in a year. But it does come down to the fact that and he's got a great mindset. very unhealthy, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. But so was taking cocaine and being 30 stone. But, like, basically, he, um, he annoys me because he was so talented. Went off the rails. Couldn't handle his own fame. And he's had one fight before this one against a guy who had one fight at heavyweight yeah. obviously it was going to beat him any heavyweight worth their salt yeah. would beat him yeah. never mind Tyson Fury he gets on like he's the big I am this fella he fought Pianetta the other night it just sounds like an ice cream so <laughs> Pianetta it, like literally who is that guy? yeah but he's on like who is he and now he's fighting Wilder for what? like what did he do? Yeah. he's been out for like what two years he has two fights he's put up the number five in the WC WBC ranking Dillian White has the mindset of a champion he's number one I think he's pretty much I think he could be the mandatory now um, but while they're choosing to dodge him and go for Tyson Fury I think it's because he because he knows he'll beat him yeah don't know what wants to have him under his belt that's why yeah but I just plus it's the biggest Tyson Fury have. the other night whenever he was doing the Muhammad Ali in the corner showing off like a tube going all the way to the to, it was a 10 round he was fighting or 10 10 um, and it ended 190 and all three got all three scores so Pianetta wasn't doing that bad he mm. lost by one point every round yeah that's but not that no, much there's no 10-8 rounds there what do you mean oh no that's what I'm saying it was 10-9 10-9 10-9 yeah. so he literally lost by one so Tyson Fury cannot have been running that show like it's one point like I just I don't know I just think at the moment his mindset is he is the big I am he never actually lost those belts in a fight which is completely true yeah. but also untrue because he sort of lost his battle with addiction. So, same sort of way. Yeah, but I think John addiction Jones. is very different from fighting, though. It is, but it, it means you can't fight. So, you're no longer capable or worthy of holding those belts. In the same way that John Jones gets done every bloody time he comes back. So, yeah. he is not worthy to be in that ring because he cannot win a fight with himself. 
Yeah, well, that's that's. But now Tyson Fury's come back with the mindset of I got this. I'm fine. I'm. And he has won that fight with himself, and he deserves to be back in the boxing ring. But does he deserve a shot at a world title after two fights against nobody? No. No, I would agree with that. It just. He needs to have, I think, at least another two, three fights before. Get him in against Dillian White. Then we'll see who deserves the fight, Wilder. Dillian. Dillian. That's how you say it. Dillian. Yep. Oh dear. It's Dillian White. D I L L I A N. Oh yeah, I am. Well, I think three, four, three more fights would be. Would, would if he's that great, put him in against White now, yeah. and then whoever wins that fights Wilder. That's genuinely what I give I, Wilder another fight against some tube that he'll knock out. In five I just minutes. think they want the biggest money. That's all. But that is what it is because they ain't got it. Wilder's in his late thirties now. Yeah, he's um, Fury could retire whenever. You know, dear knows if he if he loses against anyone, he's done. Like he will retire. Fury? Like he's already said, if if he loses to any of these bums as he calls them, Joshua Wilder, Parker, anyone like that, he's done. Yeah. I would, I would probably agree with him there. Uh, I mean, he sort of, he sort of has to though, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's, eh, I don't know. Like as I say, maybe it sounds like I just don't respect the fella. I do, and what he's came back from is horrendous. Yeah. Because it was a massive, massive mental health disorder, and the way he seemed to get round that was to take drugs and eat a ridiculous amount of food, apparently. Yeah. Um. But again, you know. I, I just it frustrates me that he's number five now after two fights against no one. Yeah, that that's that's it's annoying all the same. Like, but I mean, to have that mindset to come from, you know, from greatness and then to, to go through that rocky patch, and then to bring yourself back into the ring where people would be like, I don't I don't respect that man at all. He, he can put. Oh, I, I respect his journey, but as a fighter, until he fights someone like Wilder, if he beats Wilder, I hold my hands up. I still, I still think, I still respect the man after. I mean, after he beat Klitschko with with that, I thought it was Klitschko was terrible. I yeah, I agree, but he still. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, Anthony Joshua got knocked down by Klitschko and so, beat him, and still beat him, and knocked him out, which Fury didn't do. Yeah, but he still, but, but he still put on a good boxing there for that night, which I hundred percent. But I believe that if Wilder, sorry, Wilder, if um, Joshua Fury was yeah. to fight the Klitschko Joshua fought, he wouldn't want that fight. Well, like uh, Klitschko himself came out and said, "I just didn't prepare at all well." Yeah, that was it. I'm gonna sneeze. I think. Oh dear. No, oh, I'm not. It's a wee surprise. It's a wee surprise. Oh, <coughs> hey! Excuse me. A wee surprise one. But no, I think <laughs> I, I think I, I just respect anybody that has the mindset to go into a box. Oh yeah, it's or, crazy. Or any yeah. sort of it's class combat sport, and then to come through and be like, "Yeah, well, I lost a robot. Happy days." I, I would love to see how they would react to the defeat but at the same time I'm I'm a big Anthony Joshua fan as you know um, but if he was to ever lose which I can't I just can't imagine but oh, I like, can if, see him losing against who? anybody I just can't imagine it. I can see him losing 100% oh, he probably will but I just don't know who against at the minute maybe maybe he's not even fine that's what I'm saying Like yeah. he, I can't see him losing Pavek in here he's going to knock him out yeah Um. you know what do you call him put him down David Price hmm Put him down for a count before he get knocked out himself. I don't know. It, it depends as well because I don't really know who's gonna ha- what's gonna happen after Wilder and, and Fury. Well, because they're fighting towards the end of the year, Joshua is fighting in September. So I would assume if Wilder wins, he will fight Wilder. If Fury wins, he will fight Fury. But if they if he's ordered, I think the next mandatory is the IBF, which I think at the moment is Huey Fury. That's dreadful. Well, he's got a, uh, I think he's got a, um, a fight to decide who that is. Yeah. And like soon, um, oh dear. and if he wins that, then he could be fighting Huey Fury, sparking him out, and then potentially fighting Tyson Fury, after. It's a really strange one because I think it was done with well, then again you can never really believe anything comes out of Frank Warren's mouth, but mm. um, he said about you know there was a figure given to Joshua, but I don't think I don't know. I mean. Apparently they offered Wilder fifty million to come and fight. Fifty him. or fifteen? Fifty. Fifty. Okay. To fight didn't. in England. And he didn't take it. Apparently Joshua had literally sent a signed contract. I was like, "There it is. There's your money." That's insane. Apparently, don't know how true that is, but you never know with these things. But now he's fighting Tyson Fury. But I have a funny feeling that is the whole point to see whether who is better out of those two. If Fury beats him, Fury Joshua, that's huge. Oh yeah. That's possibly the biggest boxing match in history. 
That is huge. As in, in terms of money. British, British in, yeah, as in as well. British bog in terms of money. Yeah. That would fill Wembley plus another Wembley. Yeah. If you had it. Yeah. You know, it would, that'd be cool. Just take Wembley apart. You'd put another one on top. Yeah. That's but, uh, insane. Like, but no, that's, that's fair enough. Like, fair play. Then they want to get on and do that sort of stuff. Like, it, it takes a lot of balls to get in and, and yeah. you know, have the mindset to just go, yeah, I'm going to beat you. And even, did you watch the the interview after Fury won? Where he said he's going to knock him out? Yeah. Hmm. Very put on. Yeah, it was. Very, very staged. Yeah. Don't don't like the way boxing and MMA is getting the WWE. Like, it's getting very, just very... make it natural. Whenever people used to jump in, you used to be like, oh! Yeah, because there was a time whenever McGregor jumped in on Bellator and uh, pu- uh, pushed um, Mark Goddard. And all. He's like, he started slamming him, Mark. I was like, oh, this is mental. Yeah. This is crazy. And no, then after, not like nothing that. happened, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I would I would have believed that was... A build up to a fight. Yeah, mm. but I would believe that if he see if he if if he got fined and stuff, I would believe I would have been that that's completely true. But he got yeah. nothing for it. Nice. Which is like mm, worth it. It's it's worth it at the same time. You're like, but I mean, you just put that on then, really. Yeah. Like you know, if you're not gonna get fined for it, I mean, he's getting he's that whole that whole dolly thing that you chucked in the in the bus. Oh that's, yeah, yeah. That's used to promote the next fight. And it was perfect. Which makes 100% sense, of mm-hmm. course, but then why why can do it about it? Like, why not your bad man for doing that and then going, we're going to put it on. Here's a several hundred million yeah. or whatever. I don't know how much it's going to be, but you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Here's a pile of money. Yeah, Thanks for doing that. I just uh, that it's just getting so dramatic. Oh, I hate it. It does my head. I don't, don't mind WWE, but it just has no yeah. place in, in real combat sports, in my opinion. Like It's funny then that that's like... Yeah, and this is just like an imperfect. This is my last thing. So basically, these guys we were saying about mindsets and how they have chosen. This is what they're gonna do, and yeah. <clears throat> you know, Tyson Fury leaving and then coming back and having all those problems. The quote by this guy, legitimate name, Buckminster Fuller. But Buck. Ah. Oh. Buckminster Fuller. Um. Uh. So he said, or they said, she said, I don't know, whatever they are. Um. We are all called to be architects of the future, not its victims. That's a very good quote. She about the name though. Yeah. That's Buckminster who, Fuller. Who, who said that one? Oh, Buck, but Buck, Buck <laughs> Minster Fuller. But he, uh, yeah, basically he said that, so it links in very nicely with the whole. They that that is what they decided, and that's what they're gonna do and be, and so on yeah. and so forth. I think that's a good wee spot to actually end this one. You know. Cool. I have to admit, I've got a couple of mindsets here, like, but I mean, they're not really. We've literally touched on every single one of them, so it's. Mm. Be no it's weird, party. isn't it? I know. How we get going, and you're like, wow, I've taken all my stuff. <laughs> it's not even that. It's just, I think, with this, it's, it's very generalized, so it's yeah. you're not going to be able to <clears throat> define many different things. There's already those two, sorry, three mindsets that were already there. These were just sort of sub mindset part so of those two. Yeah. I mean, patient mindset, courageous mindset, focus mindset, positive mindset, and negative mindset, and learning mindset. Yeah. You can, they're all sort of self explanatory. Yeah. Really, like, I can maybe. imagine where they go with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, but no, we'll end that one there, folks, and uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.